Welcome back. I am really looking forward to doing a quick pick me up today. Um, I don't have a ton of time, so just wanted to sort of get a little bit of instant gratification. And this little ball here is going to do the trick. So um, if you have a small stability ball, I just want, it's like about a nine or 10 inch ball. Um, and it, I want it slightly deflated, so it's not super fully filled. Um, it'll just be a little bit nicer when we put it underneath the pelvis or underneath the feet. Um, and it won't be so unstable, um, but it'll get some work done. So uh, let's get started. Uh, we're gonna start with the ball underneath the pelvis. So lying down on the back, we're gonna put the ball just underneath the sacrum, so it'll be towards the low back, but um, not underneath the back. And I don't want it to the point where it's kind of pushing you into a tuck. So we definitely want it underneath that sacrum area. And make sure you find a place that, if I had my legs in the air, <clears throat> I wouldn't be falling over. That feels pretty even. So taking an inhale, inhale, feet are hip distance apart. We're gonna exhale, imprint the low back into the ball. Just feel yourself almost pushing the ball towards the feet feeling a little stretch through the front of the pelvis and hips, and then inhale, release it back, and just feel yourself completely settle over. Inhale, exhale, we're gonna imprint the low body into the ball. Feeling the feet pressing down, and then release it back to neutral. Just a couple more like that. We're gonna imprint, getting a little stretch for the low back, and just turning on the low abdominals, and then inhale, bring it back to neutral. And last two. And bring it back to neutral. And last time. And bring it back to neutral. Now, <clears throat> I want to utilize those stomach muscles that I just slightly kicked on. I'm going to take an inhale. Exhale, lift the right leg to tabletop. Inhale, exhale, let the left leg to join me. <clears throat> and I'm going to inhale, just lower the right leg down to tap the the floor and, or my mat, and then come back up for 10 on that right side. Nine. We inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. So I'm using the ball by elevating my pelvis. It allows my ribs to sit down into the mat a little bit more. So I'm actually allowing a little more opening through the front of the hip and encouraging a little more stomach engagement here. It's just a nice way to open up and feel the back body down on the mat a little bit better for our next exercises. Last one. And other side, inhale, lower. Exhale, lift it up. And I don't want to over flex my foot or anything along those lines. I just want to feel like someone's almost pushing my leg away and then I'm resisting it back up. And I always want to think of resisting up from my rib cage in my stomach. So I almost think my back rib sinks in order to lift my leg. And you'll notice that if my back of my ribs settle into the mat, your stomach will start to kick on a little bit more. One last time. Now, as I lift the left leg, I'm gonna lower my right leg down and switch. Last three, and two, and last one. Bring it back to center. Now we're gonna glue the knees and the feet together. I'm gonna feel like I'm squeezing something behind the back of my leg. So you're almost pulling your feet towards your hamstrings and you should feel the hamstrings start to fire up. I'm gonna keep that connection. I'm gonna lower both legs down and tap the floor. I'm gonna feel my back ribs sink in order to lift my legs back up. So it's an inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Three more. And two. Last one. Bring it up, extend the legs up to the sky. We're gonna find that length, keeping the legs in more of a parallel position. I'm gonna to start to lower my legs down as far as I feel my back ribs staying connected to the mat. So we're not gonna lower down as much as you would think and then press the back ribs to lift back up. So I inhale, lower my legs down. And now I think of my back ribs really sinking and you should be able to 
Feel or you can see how the stomach has to kick on. Three more, inhale. Exhale right back up, last two, inhale. Exhale right back up, last time, inhale down. Exhale right back up, bend one knee down, take it to the mat. Bend the other knee down, take it to the mat. I'm gonna make sure my ball hasn't shifted. We're gonna take an inhale here. I'm gonna exhale again, imprint my low back in. Feel that nice stretch through the front of my hips. And then I'm just gonna to start to hover off of the ball. Inhale. Now I wanna think of almost letting the ball be my foundation is, I don't wanna settle my hips down first. I wanna think of my chest softening first. So I soften my upper back down. How much could I soften my upper back down without let, resting into the ball yet and then sink the rest of the way and release the pelvis. So we're just reminding ourselves where our articulation initiates. So as I imprint the low back and I start to lift, I wanna feel just my tailbone lifting, then my sacrum, then my low back coming off of the ball. At the top here, I wanna just think of my chest or sternum softening and thinking how long can I roll down before I start to weight my ball. And you'll feel a really great stretch through the front of the quads and hips. And then we imprint into the ball, press down through the feet, lifting the pelvis up. At the top, I'm gonna to soften my upper back down and sink all the way. Taking one last time, we're gonna inhale and exhale, peel it up, hold it here. <clears throat> now again, my ball is being utilized to know where my pelvis is in space. So I'm gonna take an inhale, I'm gonna exhale, lift my right leg to tabletop. I'm gonna lower down into the ball and then pulse right back off of it. So how much could you come off the ball with that one leg up into the air. Last two, <clears throat> last one, up, take the foot down, other leg up, sink into the ball, feels nice, and then we lift right back up off of it. Sink into the ball. How much could I lift off the ball now? And then I'll notice that my right or my left pelvis is wanting to stay on, so I'm gonna think, oh, I gotta lift my opposite pelvis, the one that has the leg up in the air, off of the ball a little bit more, and you'll feel that weight shift into that hip even deeper. Last two, last one, take the foot down, soften your chest down, peel the spine down, and release it. Now we're gonna take the ball away. I want you to roll the spine down, feeling how we have a little bit of extra length in the low back, which should feel really nice. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little bit more into that single leg on underneath the foot. So the ball's gonna go underneath. Let's start with the left foot. I wanna make sure my whole foot is on the ball. And then I'm gonna press my center point of my foot down. So I'm not pushing through my heel or my toe. I'm just thinking the whole foot kind of resting over. We're gonna take an inhale here. <clears throat> and immediately, you should start to feel your left hamstring kicking on more than your right. We're gonna imprint the low back into the mat and peel the hips up. Inhaling at the top, and then exhale, we'll soften the spine, roll it down with control. And it's amazing how just that little bit of ball um, instability underneath the foot challenges that hamstring in such a different way than when you don't have anything underneath it. And soften and roll. And just find where your foot is every time you start to lift. Say, am I pushing a lot through my heel or my toe, or am I still keeping that weight like right down through the arch of my foot is pushing into the ball. And that'll make you feel a lot more hamstring. And last two, we peel and lift it up and soften and roll. And last time, we're gonna peel and lift and stay lifted. Now, this one's a little funky because we're gonna start to take the weight off of the leg that doesn't have the ball. So I'm gonna hold the ball down, lift my leg up and bring it down. Feel that connection, lift the right leg up and bring it down, last three. Up and bring it down, last two, up and bring it down and last one, up 
bring it down, hold it here. We're going to extend the leg away, enjoying that little bit of stretch through the hamstring, pushing down into the ball to open through the hip, drag the ball back in. Extend it away, find that connection and length. Drag the ball back in. I'm still staying as lifted as I can through my upper body. And drag the ball back in. Last two, inhale, reach. Exhale, drag back in. And last one, inhale, reach. Drag back in, hold it here. Soften the spine, roll it down. You're gonna pull that one knee in. Just give it a little squeeze. Extend the leg up to the sky and just give yourself a little bit of an active stretch here. So we're gonna push the hamstring into the hands Really finding length. Push up through that left heel. And then we'll bend the knee down and we'll take it over to the other side. So now my right foot's gonna be on the ball, on the arch, finding that connection. Taking an inhale here. Exhale, pressing down through the center of the foot. You're gonna lift up with control. And soften and roll on the exhale. Inhaling back to neutral, we exhale, imprint the low back, peeling the hips up. And exhale, soften and roll. Three more like that. We exhale, curl and lift. Thinking of if I had that ball underneath my pelvis, where is my, where is my stability through here and where am I softening from still? So I want to try to find that articulation as much as I can and exhale, lift. I'm already feeling a little... Nervous about this other side, lifting that left leg up. I'm feeling a little more unstable on this foot. So we're going to hold it here. Take an inhale, exhale, lift the left leg and lower down for five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Let's get that leg extended out to avoid any cramping. And then drag back in for five, pushing down into the ball to extend. Drag back in, inhale, reach out, exhale, drag back in, last two, inhale, reach out, drag back in, and final time, inhale, reach it, drag back in, hold it, soften the spine, roll down with control. You're going to just take that ball, bring it into your hands, take an inhale, reaching the arms out, we're going to squeeze the ball as we lift up and over, inhale, reach. At the top, we're gonna to push down into the ball, just feeling that downward pressure to feel my belly pull up and in. And I'm gonna dive forward. I'm gonna inhale, roll it back, taking the arms up and over. Inhale, lift the arms up, head, neck, and chest follow. I exhale, peel up and over, pressing down into the ball. I dive it forward. Rolling it back. Taking the ball, squeezing into it as I lower down. And last two. Push down. So I want to feel like when I press down into that ball, it's kind of pulling my stomach up and in. That way when I go up and over, I'm getting a little bit of a deeper stretch through my hamstrings. And then we roll it back down. One last time, inhale. Lift the arms up, head, neck, and chest follow. We dive up and over. Reach it forward, pushing down, and rolling it back, and up and over. All right, now we've got our spine a little bit mobilized and warmed up, we're going to add on. So I'm going to take my ball now and put it underneath my upper back. So I'd like to say, now you can see where the bra line would be, but I'm going to be kind of in that bra line position. I don't want to have it too low because I don't want to go into my low back. I want to actually think more of just an upper back opening. So I'm going to take my hands behind my head, take an inhale. We're going to just stretch back over the ball and I'm going to adjust myself based off of where I feel like I want to be in terms of comfort level and tightness in my spine. Now, where my spine is on the ball, I want you guys to take your finger and feel that bottom part of your back where it's kind of slightly coming off of the ball. And I want you guys to sink that section down. And notice when you sink it down, how that actually hollows into the stomach a little bit more and turns it on. We're going to use that to curl the head, neck, and chest forward. And inhale, stretch it back. And exhale, curl it forward. And inhale, stretch it back. And exhale, curl. And inhale. And exhale. 
And we're gonna go five more. And four. And three, thinking every time I initiate my lift, my intention is starting my ribs back, feel the connection, then we nod the chin and curl. Last time. Holding it here. I'm gonna lift my right leg up to tabletop. So I wanna think of that, I could rest a coffee on my shin. I wanna maintain that connection. I'm gonna inhale, drive the leg away as I stretch back over my ball. Exhale, drag the knee in as I curl my head, neck and chest forward. So inhale, we reach everything away. Exhale, drag to come back in. Inhale, reach everything away. Exhale, drag to come back in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drag. Inhale, reach. Exhale, drag. Last time like this, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna drag it back in, hold it here. Now, I'm gonna go into a rotation of my upper spine. What I don't want us to do is do a lot of movement in the ball. So my goal is to think as I rotate, I'm gonna try my best not to let my ball roll at all. So when I rotate up and over, I'm almost thinking of trying to pull the ball still and go across at the same time. So I'm almost trying to lift off of my ball, back to center, I'm gonna extend the leg and lower back down. So we curl forward, we drag the knee in. I'm keeping that connection, but then I'm gonna to try to lift off of my ball as I rotate and back to center, extend it over. And curl, rotate, back to center, and reach. Last two, curl, rotate, Back to center and reach. Last one. Curl. We rotate. Hold it here. Reach that outside or the outside arm. So my left arm is going to reach past my right leg. I'm going to do itty bitty pulses up for 10, 9, 4, 3, 2, Last one, hand goes back behind the head. We lower the foot down, rotate to center, and stretch it back and rest. Take an inhale, we have to do the other side. So we're gonna exhale, curl it up, lifting the left leg to tabletop. And now here also, I want us to be mindful of where our pelvis is in space. So as I lift my one leg up, I really wanna think I'm still maintaining even weight across the back of my sacrum. I don't wanna be doing any of this rocking and rolling. So Keep an eye on where your knees are, and I wanna make sure they're pointing straight up to the sky as we move, and then feel where your pelvis is. I have a tendency to lift one of my pelvises, so I always wanna make sure that I'm grounding that opposite one down. So as I curl forward, I wanna think of my back ribs really sinking, my knee is lifting up and over, and then I inhale, stretch away. And exhale, curl. And inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Inhale. Think of the back ribs here, even way to sacrum. Now, it's always going to feel a little bit more unstable with the ball, and that's completely understandable because the ball is unstable. So just weigh everything to your ability and know that we all have that little bit of instability somewhere. We're not completely 100% equal from right to left and front to back the last two and the last one hold it here again i'm going to try not to move my ball very much as i lift up and over back to center and reach exhale curl rotate towards back to center and reach out and three more. Back to center, reach out. And two. Back to center and reach. And final one, up and over, twist and hold it. I'm gonna reach my arm past my knee. I'm gonna do itty bitty pulses off my ball for 10. Four. 
four, three, two, last one. Hand goes back behind the head. We rotate to center, lower the foot down, lower yourself all the way over the ball. And go ahead and we'll curl it up. We'll take ourselves off of the ball. I'm gonna roll onto that one side and I'm gonna rest my ball underneath my rib cage. So we've done a few exercises in the past few classes where I've had our cells really focusing on where my ribs are in space when I'm doing these moves. But the nice thing about having the ball is now I don't really have to even think about where I am because I know that if I'm sinking on the ball, it, the ball tells me. So we're gonna hold this connection. <clears throat> I'm gonna think of lifting my rib cage off of the ball here and we're gonna hold that. We're gonna lift the leg up to a hip height position. And I'm gonna take the knee back. So my knee is at the same distance as my hip. So I'm almost resting my hip and my knee up against a wall and that's where it would stay. So I'm gonna have that connection. So I'm not taking my knee, my hip into flexion at all. I'm actually taking my hip into extension. I'm gonna lift that leg up and down. Oh, and see, there I go, resting into my ball. And you'll notice the difference if you keep your rib cage off of it. We're gonna go for 10 of them. And just constantly think, every time I go to lift my leg, am I lifting off of my ball too? Nine, last one. We're gonna hold it here. Now, I'm keeping myself in that hip extension. I just looked and saw my knee wanted to go towards the camera. I wanna take it away from the camera and then I'm gonna pulse it back for 10, nine. And my movement's really coming from where my hamstring and my hip meet. Four, three, two, last one. Now, I want to remind myself of the ball being underneath my ribs, but now I'm going to take the ball and I'm going to put it behind my leg. We're going to take the ball back again. Same thing, we're just going to squeeze the ball this time and lift up. And now I'm going to just think of my hand being my ball underneath my rib cage. Good. And just notice when we add a ball between the back of the leg and add our lifts, how that encourages a little bit of extra hamstring. Last three, last two, last one. Hold it here and then 10 pulses back. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold it and bring it in. Now we're gonna keep the ball underneath that leg or behind that knee. And I'm gonna go into a little plank position here. So I have my hands underneath my shoulders. My left leg is gonna extend out to my plank position. Now I'm gonna just push down with my three pieces on the floor and hover my opposite leg up into the air. Now I wanna think of my knee almost hovering and pulling it forward. Keeping that connection, I'm gonna reach that leg up to the sky and bring it in and forward. Leg is up to the sky and bring it in and forward. Leg is up to the sky, bring it in and forward. Now we're gonna keep the leg in, we're gonna rotate across and back. Across and back. Three more across and back and across and back and last two across and back and final one across and back now we're going to lift that leg up so it's the height of our body how high could i go and pulse the leg up for 10 9 8 7 4 3 2 1 and bring it in and down and we'll go over to the other side so ball is going to go underneath my rib cage. So there's two different ways of thinking about what our body is doing when we do our glute work. And a lot of it's reminding ourselves that how much our whole body plays a role in how we move. So as I lift up off of my ball, I'm getting my obliques to fire up. I'm going to float my top leg up. And then I'm going to think of taking my leg back into that hip extension position. So now I'm really trying to focus as much as I can on my glute and my hamstring. I'm going to lift that leg up and down for 10. Last 
four, three, two, and one. Now we're just playing with this because we want to see the difference between how we move with the ball underneath our ribs and how we ball, move with the ball behind the leg. We're going to pulse back for 10, nine, Always thinking of lifting that rib cage off of your ball. Four, three, two, one. Now I'm gonna take the ball away. I wanna try to keep that connection behind or underneath my rib cage as much as I can while the ball's behind my knee. I'm gonna reach that ball back to that position and then we lift up again. And I'm gonna just be mindful that every time I wanna lift my leg up, I'm always thinking of keeping my ribs lifting up in opposition. Last four and three, and two, and last one, hold it here. Now I'm gonna pulse the ball back for 10, 10. And I have to think when I pulse the ball back, if the ball's behind my leg, I'm actually really squeezing through my hamstring and encouraging that hip extension. Last four, three, two, last one. Now we're gonna keep the ball. And we're gonna turn onto our hands and knees. My hands are right underneath my shoulders. My left knee is underneath my hip. My right leg is gonna go out to that plank position. I'm gonna press down through everything, keep that connection, and then hover my knee up. I'm gonna pull that knee in, extend it up to the sky. Pull it in, extend it up to the sky. My ball is not even behind my leg, so we'll see how well I can hold it there without it falling out, keep that connection. There's my challenge in my class today and twist across and back to center. <sighs> Reminding ourselves to try to keep that whole leg off of the mat the whole time and not trying to over round through our spine. My movement's really coming from my abdominals and I'm keeping my upper back strong. Last time, back to center. Leg is gonna go up to the sky. We're gonna go 10 pulses up, 10. Four, three, two, one. Bring the knee down. Take the ball out from underneath. We're gonna do a quick finish by putting the ball underneath our chest. Um, it can feel a little constricting sometimes if we don't have a lot of breath and we're a little tight in our back bodies. So take this opportunity to really focus on getting your back rib cage open and really breathing into the back and the side body versus trying to breathe too much in the front. So laying on our bellies, I'm gonna put the ball kind of underneath, like below my sternum. Um, I think it's gonna be very different for everybody. So I'd say just play with your location and get it in a spot that feels the most comfortable for you. Um, we just don't want it actually underneath our stomach. We want it a little bit higher towards our chest and our sternum. I'm gonna lay down and rest my hand on my forehead or my forehead on my hands. Under hands underneath forehead, how about that? And my legs will be somewhat close together here. I want to think of using the ball as an opposition opportunity to use my upper back body and mid back body and to take my low back out of the equation. I'm going to push down into the ball, press my hands up into my forehead and start to lift up into an upper back extension. And then exhale lower down. So we inhale. Lifting up and exhale, lower down. Inhale, we lift it up and exhale, we lower down. A couple more like this. Inhale and exhale. Last one like this. Inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna inhale, lift up on this next one, hold it here. I'm gonna reach my arms at that diagonal as much as I can, reaching them away. We're thinking crown of head is reaching away, arms are reaching away, and I'm pushing into the ball with my body. Hands are gonna come back underneath the forehead, and we lower it down. So I inhale, lift my head, neck, and chest up, pushing into my ball. It's almost like I'm trying to reach my ball forward. I'm gonna slide my arms out at that diagonal. Hands are gonna come back underneath the forehead and we lower it down. Few more like that, inhale. Exhale, I reach my arms out. Inhale, hands come back underneath 
and exhale, lower. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, hands back. Exhale, lower. And final time, we're going to stay lifted on this last one. So we inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold it here. I'm going to pulse my arms back for 10. 9. Still thinking of reaching through that crown of head, lengthening out through the body. I'm not trying to lift from my low back. I'm lifting from pushing into my ball to bring my upper back higher. Hold it here. Hands come back underneath the forehead. We lower our head, neck, and chest down. Take the hands underneath your uh, shoulders. We're going to press ourselves back into a little rest position. You can even take the ball if you want for a little extra shoulder and just stretch it out. Taking a big inhale here. Using the ball underneath your hands, we're going to exhale, scoop and push and roll ourselves through the spine. And I'll just use my hands to kind of help pull the ball in a little deeper. And I'm going to inhale, reach it away, and just let the ball support me in a nice little shoulder strap. Now I'm going to use the downward pressure into the ball to kick on the muscles underneath me and peel through. And inhale, reach it away. And last time, exhale, we press down to curl it up and bring it all the way up to the top. Thanks for that quick little pick-me-up today. I needed that bit of energy, and I have to say the ball is a great bit of instant gratification for our abs and our back and our side bodies and our glutes, so um, I hope you enjoy. Have a great and lovely day.